Welcome to Today in Nerd History. The Legend of Lizzie Borden aired February 10th, 1975. In this made-for-TV movie, in 1893, Massachusetts, Lizzie Andrew Borden is put on trial for murdering her father and stepmother with an axe. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, A Matter of Perspective, aired February 10, 1990. In this episode, the widow of respected scientist Dr. Nail Apgar accuses Riker of seducing her and killing her husband. Rather than turn Riker over for unfavorable trial, the Enterprise reconstructs the facts. The facts. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, In Purgatory Shadow, aired February 10th, 1997. In this episode, in order to ward off a Dominion invasion, Sisko must close the wormhole, leaving Worf and Garrick stranded in a Jim Hadar internment camp on the other side. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode Field of Fire aired February 10th, 1999. In this episode, to find an apparently untraceable murderer, Ezri Dax reluctantly calls up the residual consciousness remnant of her symbiont's past hidden psychopathic murderer host, Joran. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Bliss, aired February 10, 1999. In this episode, the Voyager crew discovers what seemed to be a wormhole leading to the Alpha Quadrant and home. Images of Earth and letters from home elates the crew. Seven and others, however, are skeptical of this seeming deliverance. Final Destination 3 was released in the U.S. February 10, 2006. In this movie, six years after students cheated death, another teen has a premonition she and her friends will be involved in an accident. When the vision proves true, the student and survivors deal with the repercussions of cheating the Grim Reaper. Remembering Jerry Goldsmith, born February 10th, 1929, and passed away July 21st, 2004. Gerald King Goldsmith was an American composer and conductor, most known for his work in film and TV. He composed scores for such noteworthy films as The Sand Pebbles, Logan's Run, Planet of the Apes, Patton, Papillion, Chinatown, The Wind and the Lion, The Omen, The Boys from Brazil, Capricorn One, Alien, Poltergeist, The Secret of Nymph, Gremlins, Hoosiers, Total Recall, Basic Instinct, Rudy, Air Force One, L.A. Confidential, Mulan, The Mummy, the three Rambo movies, and five Star Trek movies. He collaborated with some of film history's most accomplished directors, including Robert Wise, Howard Hawks, Joe Dante, Richard Donner, Roman Polanski, Ridley Scott, Steven Spielberg, and Paul Verhoeven. He was nominated for six Grammy Awards, five Primetime Emmy Awards, nine Golden Globe Awards, four British Academy Film Awards, and 18 Academy Awards. But he won only one in 1976 for The Omen. Happy birthday, Robert Wagner, born February 10, 1930. Robert Wagner, Jr. 
is an American actor of stage, screen, and television. Best known for starring in the TV shows It Takes a Thief, Switch, and of course, Heart to Heart. He has also had a reoccurring role as Teddy Leopold on Two and a Half Men and has a reoccurring role as Anthony Donazzo Sr. on NCIS. In movies, he is known for his role as number two in the Austin Powers trilogy of films as well as For a Kiss Before Dying, The Pink Panther, Harper, The Towering Inferno, and many more. His autobiography, Pieces of My Heart, A Life, written with author Scott Iman, was published on September 23, 2008. Happy birthday, Laura Dern, born February 10, 1967. Laura Elizabeth Dern is an American actress, film director, and producer. She has acted in such films as Mask and Smooth Talk, Blue Velvet, Fat Man and Little Boy, Wild at Heart, Jurassic Park, The Baby Dance, October Sky, and I Am Sam. She has won awards for her performance in the 1991 movie Ramblin' Rose, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. She was awarded a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress in a series, miniseries, or television film for her portrayal of Florida Secretary of State Katherine Harris in the film Recount. From 2011 to 2013, she starred as Amy Jellico in HBO's Enlightened. For this role, she won the 2011 Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series musical, or comedy. In 2014, she made a return to film work, appearing in The Fault in Our Skies, When the Game Stands Tall, 99 Homes, and Wild, the latter for which she received her second Academy Award nomination. She has since played supporting roles in the movies Star Wars The Last Jedi as Vice Admiral Holdo and Marriage Story. Remembering Judith Anderson, born February 10, 1897, and passed away January 3, 1992. Judith Anderson, born Frances Margaret Anderson Anderson, was an Australian actress who played the Vulcan High Priestess Talar in Star Trek III The Search for Spock. Along with Morgan Farley, Richard Hale, Anthony Jokum, Felix Locker, Celia Lowski, Leonard Muddy, Charles Seal, Abraham Sophier, John Warburton, and Ian Wolfe, she is one of only 11 credited Star Trek guest stars born in the 19th century to appear in any episode or film. Of those 11, she is the only one who did not appear on Star Trek The Original Series. Although primarily a stage actress, she earned an Academy Award nomination for her role as the sinister housekeeper, Miss Danvers, in Alfred Hitchcock's 1940 thriller, Rebecca. She is also well known for her three-year stint on the 1980s soap opera, Santa Barbara. She appeared in the movie, Laura, and The Ten Commandments. Her other credits also include major supporting roles in the critically acclaimed films King's Row, and Then There Were None, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. She also starred in 1947's Pursued. In 1960, she was appointed a Dame of the British Empire in honor of her service as an actor of stage and screen. She died of pneumonia in Santa Barbara, California. Remembering Barry Ingham, born February 10, 1932, and passed away January 23, 2015. He was featured in over 200 
British and American movies and TV productions, including the lead in A Challenge for Robin Hood in 1967. He played Aladdin in Doctor Who and the Daleks and Major Muncaster in Invasion. After playing Sejanus in Granada's TV, The Caesars, in 1968, he had a short spell as an ambitious government minister in the power game in 1969. In 1971, he took the leading role in the series Hein as an unscrupulous arms dealer. He also appeared as King Pelinor in the 1981-82 revival of Camelot. In 1986, he voiced Basil of Baker Street, the lead character of Disney's The Great Mouse Detective. He made a guest appearance on Star Trek The Next Generation in the 1989 episode Up the Long Ladder. Happy Birthday, Elizabeth Banks, born February 10th, 1974. Elizabeth Banks, born Elizabeth Irene Mitchell is an American actress, director, and producer. She is known for playing Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games film series and Gail Abernathy McCadden in the Pitch Perfect film series. She made her directorial film debut with Pitch Perfect 2, whose $69 million opening weekend gross set a record for the first-time director. She also directed, wrote, and produced and starred in the action comedy film Charlie's Angels. She founded the film and television production company Brownstone Productions in October 2002 with her husband, Max Handelman. Banks made her film debut in the low-budget independent film Surrender Dorothy. She starred in the film's Wet Hot American Summer, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy, Seabiscuit, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Slither, Invincible, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, (laughs) Role Models, The Next Three Days, Man on a Ledge, What to Expect When You're Expecting, Movie 43, The Lego Movie and its Sequel, Love and Mercy, Walk of Shame, Magic Mike XXL, Power Rangers, and Brightburn. On TV, she had a reoccurring role as Avery Jessup on 30 Rock, which earned her two Primetime Emmy Award nominations. She had reoccurring roles on Scrubs and Modern Family, the latter of which earned her a third Primetime Emmy Award nomination. She starred in a Netflix miniseries, Wet Hot American Summer, First Day of Camp, and Wet Hot American Summer, Ten Years Later. She hosts a revival of the 1980s game show, Press Your Luck, on ABC. Happy Birthday, Karen Fukuhara. Born February 10, 1992. She is an American actress best known for her roles as Tatsu Yamashiro, or Katana, in the 2016 superhero film Suicide Squad, and as Kimiko Miyashiro in The Boys. She is also known for voice acting the character Glimmer from the Netflix series She-Ra and the Princess of Power, and Kippo from Kimpo and the Age of Wonder Beast. She got her start in the entertainment industry in middle school when she was cast as a host for Movie Surfers, a short-form entertainment news program on the Disney Channel. She voiced the characters Sewer Queen and Alexis in the Cartoon Network series Craig of the Creek. Happy Birthday, Ronald R. Rondell, born February 10th, 1937. He is a stuntman, stunt coordinator, and director who worked as stunt coordinator on Star Trek First Contact. He also played the henchman of Mickey the Nose in the movie. (music) 
Happy birthday, Jade and Nikita Ramsey, born February 10th, 1988. Jade Ramsey and Nikita Ramsey are twin sisters who played Arcana and Saga, respectively, in the Star Trek Picard episode Et in Arcadia Ego, Part 1 and Part 2. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.